welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We're going to quickly whip up a batch of almond milk, which is great to have in the fridge to put over your cereals and breakfasts or to use in loads of other recipes. So almond milk is a really simple one for you to make. Almonds are the only alkaline nut. They're really great for you to include in your regular eating plan. And you're going to pop one cup of almonds straight in the bottom of your blender jug. To finish, you add one liter of filtered water. Now you can use activated nuts, which means that the nuts have been soaked overnight in water, then drained and rinsed. This is a really good point because the enzymes become more bioavailable when you do that. But today we're just gonna use the one straight from the cupboard, and this is good if you run out of milk at any time. We're gonna blend for 35 seconds until there's a good mixture going on. seconds feels like a long time when the blender's going. Um, now you can leave the mixture like this and strain it through your nut milk bag into a bowl or if you're going to use it um, with kids they usually like it a little bit sweeter. So to give a nice edge pop in two dates with the pits removed, a little crunch of Himalayan rock salt or Celtic sea salt. Celtic sea salt is amazing for you. It has the same chemical structure as embryonic fluid, so it's really easily absorbed into the body with all of the minerals. And then the, the contents of one um, vanilla seed, vanilla pod. So I'm gonna take my knife, slice gently down one side, not all the way through, but just one side of the vanilla seed. Once I've got to the end, I can peel that open and then use the edge of a spoon to scrape out the tiny little seeds that are inside the vanilla seed. There we go. So, there they are. That goes into the blender jug. We just use high for a couple of seconds to get the uh, ingredients all mixed in nicely. We'll put the lid back on the jug. Make sure it's securely in place now for sure. <laughs> Only a few minutes required, a few seconds required for that. Pour the contents of the jug, so your four cups of filtered water, one cup of almonds, either activated or not, a little crack of Celtic sea salt or Himalayan rock salt, the contents of one vanilla bean, and two dates. And then we simply push the liquid through the nut milk bag into the bowl. You see it comes out nice and easily. And once we've strained that all the way through, we've got nut milk in the bowl, and then we've got some almond meal waste left over. The almond meal waste can do a couple of different things. You can use the pulp to create things like pizza bases or bread rolls that are cooked or uncooked in your dehydrator, or you can actually dehydrate just the pulp itself to make an almond flour, which could be used in baking if you're not um, a raw foodie and you want to choose to do that. So that's a great way of making a base for a gluten-free flour to make your own almond milk and dry the meal that's left over altogether. So we simply keep making sure the pulp comes into the bottom of the nut milk bag and then we turn it and gently squeeze, getting as much liquid out as possible. We've put four cups of water in and we usually yield about four cups or one litre of almond milk at the end. The best way to store this is in a jar, a glass jar, in the refrigerator. I'll pop that aside for now. I'll dehydrate that one a little bit later and we'll pour our almond milk straight into this jug. Now it can be stored in the fridge, best used between four to five days, but I've left mine up to seven days before with no problems at all. And let me guarantee you, this is much, much cheaper than the $5 that you'll spend on an almond milk in the supermarket. Got no additives, no preservatives, and it tastes great. So if you enjoyed that one, don't forget to leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.